So I want to show you some uh, ways of using probes in Comsol Multiphysics 5.3. I struggled a bit with it, so there are some pitfalls. Um, so uh, this is a sample model, uh, uh, part of a cone, and I have heat transfer in solids, thermal insulation at the bottom, and convective heat flux on all other parts. Heat transfer coefficient of 50, so it's blowing past here. And uh, and the diffusive heat flux here uh, with an ambient temperature and a surface emissivity. And this is the result at 1800 seconds. And I now want to have a couple of probes. The minimum temperature, the maximum temperature, something about the total heat flux and the radiative heat flux or something similar so I can compare how important the radiative heat flux is compared to the convective heat flux. So let's create some probes. I do that in definitions. Uh, boundary probes, I need two. Uh, sorry, I need two domain probes for, um, for the minimum maximum temperature. Let's call the first one T min and the other one T max. And uh, T min uh, should be a minimum, right? And the minimum of the temperature. So that's fine. And all domains, yeah, it's only one domain. And T max should be the maximum. And temperature was chosen for us by default. Uh, the heat flux happens across a boundary. So let's see what we can choose there. All boundaries are selected and let's go into heat transfer and solids, boundary fluxes. And there we have a couple of things. We have radiative heat flux there and we have radiated heat flux down here. These one and one down here. Hmm. Two different radiative heat flux. What's this? So let's uh, choose this one and take that as an integral. So sum of the entire, and let's choose the name there, DSR flux. It was called by uh, boundary DSR flux integral or boundaries. Let's take the other one, boundary probe. The other one was only called R flux, right? So boundary flux, radiative heat flux. Let's call this one R flux. Uh, flux. And the integral. I'm not sure which one to use right now, uh, but we need something else boundary probe uh, to get the total or the convective. Let's see in here. Boundary fluxes. We can choose between boundary convective heat flux. Let's choose that one. So that was Q0. Q0. Let's take that as an integral as well. So now I just choose everything I I seem to be able to have some use of, and then we'll see if if we get something from them. And then I will tell you why we don't get something from some and why we get from others. So we took that one, right? Uh, and there's an inward heat flux. That should be the sum, right? and boundary convective heat flux and inward heat flux. Hmm. Let's choose this one. That's another Q0. So the one we had there was HF1 Q0. So let's rename this HF1. And I failed to rename that. Q0. 
value 0, and that should be the integral as well. And so let's see, that's in that's in watts, that's in watts, watts, and watts. So I created a number of probes. Uh, what happens now? What happens if I click uh, update solution? Nothing much did seem to happen. No new tables, new, no new graphs. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, try again and click compute. Now I got things. Uh, now I got a number of uh, results here. But some of them seems to be bad. There was the radiative heat flux here, DSR flux, that produced a not a number, and the boundary convective heat flux, uh, HF1Q0, also produced not a number. Why? Well, this is how I understand things here. Uh, you have a heat flux here, and I Set convective heat flux here and the heat transfer coefficient, and have diffusive heat flux here. Uh, so, radiation part here. But if you go into the main model here, you can also click surface to surface radiation. You can click, and th then you other things appear here, uh, and heat transfer in biological tissue, heat transfer in porous media. So there are more things in the model, but some of the things that you can make a probe for we haven't actually in our model so this one we don't have we delete that one so this one as well dsr flux delete okay delete and okay so now we have a not some not the numbers there uh, what happens if i update they're still there Okay, so what happens if I take uh, up here instead, click update results? Up there I can't choose anything, but if I click here I can click update results. What happens then? Then all the other probes disappeared. Ah, oh, that's not good. Okay, so let's try to recover and click update solution here. Still, that doesn't work. So you have to click a compute here to get things to work then you update all the probes okay so uh, you have to click compute you can't just update solution if you change your probes or you have another probe or something like that uh, when we have these probes a uh, probe table is created for us and by default all probes are put in the same table and by default it created one uh, graph with everything in yeah, but temperature and uh, heat flux, that's two different units, so that's not good, right? So let's change this. If we go up here and say that, okay, now it says output table, probe table one, fine. But R flux and Q zero, we want to have in a new plot. So let's create a new window there. So what to do now? Can we click update solution? Will that help? No, it doesn't help. It's still, it's still only one plot uh, for the probes. So unfortunately we have to click compute which takes a bit longer time than clicking update solution. Okay, did I get what I want? No, I didn't. Because now I got one uh, here for <laughs> for the R flux, and I got another one here for the Q zero. And to compare them, I would like to have those two in the same. So okay, let's take away uh, probe plot three uh, there uh, and delete this over here and and select pro plot two, 2 there instead of pro plot 3 and it came back and now unfortunately I have to click uh, compute again which takes a bit longer time than clicking update solution 
Okay, so now I have one graph for the temperatures. Uh, what happens in the beginning here is some numerical instabilities. Probably I could uh, get better if uh, I uh, increased the mesh, had a smaller mesh, and uh, here are the fluxes uh, of heat. So remember, if you uh, update things here, you have to click Compute. And if you have more than one probe, don't click the update results because then you would lose all your other probes.